me all the way thrown off. I am trying to, it's a little bit discombobulating right now, but I am trying to get it right. So, <laughs> I don't know about y'all out there, between uh, trying to wait on my stimulus check to come in and daylight savings time, oh, and the pollen starting to kick up. It's getting a little bit serious, but hey, it's what, guess what? It's another Monday, it's another Markham Monday. I'm glad that y'all are here and we are doing it all over again. Tonight we are going to be talking about red flags. All right, that's tonight's the topic of tonight's conversation. But before we get into it, please, if you're watching me on if you are watching me on Instagram, <laughs> if you're watching me on Instagram, be sure that you know that you can actually join the conversation and ask to go live with me, but we're going to do that in a second. If you're over there on Facebook, you know that I'm watching it over there as well. So if you have a comment that you want to add, hey, let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you, what you, um, you know, just drop a comment in the, drop a, <laughs> drop a word in the comment section. Let me know what you guys are feeling. If you're agreeing with me, if you're not, let me know as well by hitting those reaction buttons. Whether it's the like, whether it's you dropping a thumbs down because you think I'm full of BS, just let me know um, in the comment section. Hold on one second. Please. So, um, like I said, give me one second. Let me press this button. I gotta take care of this right quick. All right, so taking care of a little bit of business back there, some behind the scenes stuff. What is this on my shirt? Uh, Eating powder donuts. Yeah, it is a little bit blurry, but it's all good. So, um. Like I said, before we get into it, though, we want to make sure that we um, share the video. Let people know what, what we're talking about. We do this every week. Um, different conversations, different topics. If you want something that you want to add to the mix, send me a uh, DM. Say, hey, Chris, I want you to talk about X, Y, Z. And who knows? It might make a rotation. But tonight, at the very least, we are going to be talking about red flags, a.k.a. those warning signs, a.k.a. those you better get your ass up out of here. Run! That's what we're talking about tonight. We are going to be talking about red flags. Um, like I said, if you're watching this replay on YouTube, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you're watching it live on um Facebook, you can drop a comment in the drop a note in the comment section. If you're on Instagram, you can actually join me live by just asking, "Hey, Chris, can I come in?" I'll hit the button, and then we can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation where you can add your thoughts to the conversation about red flags. So let's get into it. First of all, what are red flags? There are a whole bunch of things, but what they are are just warnings when it comes to relationships, all right? Or at least the initial sign of the initial phase of a relationship. Either when you first meet somebody, when y'all start to kick it, when y'all start to really get to know each other, that's what those red flags are, are about. Let me give you a couple of them, right? And in, in me doing some show uh, research for this topic tonight, um, came across, oh, but before we get into it, tonight's drink, y'all, is, because every week I want to try something different. I'm on TikTok. There's this dude I follow. He gets some great drink recipes. Y'all, I am not a drinker. I, shit, I'm such a lightweight Malibu and Coke. I'm, I'm sleeping after about an hour of that stuff, right? Some people can drink damn near like a camel. I'm not that dude. And I'm proud to say I'm not no drinker. I ain't trying to drink nobody under the table or nothing like that. I like my liver. But anyway, tonight's drink is Di Serrano and what is lemonade. Actually, it's pretty darn good got a little sweet finish to it I like it it's a liqueur that's my flavor that's how I roll that's what I like and I'm comfortable with it <laughs> so but let's talk about a few red flags a um, couple that I came across and let me know if you've had these um, interactions in your life with some of the people that you may have met when it comes to you dating all right uh, one is uh, surround you, you find yourself explaining the basic elements of human respect to a full-grown adult Another one is, they focus on your mistakes and ignore their own. They are suddenly and completely bored by you. Now y'all, I'll say this, I'm an Aries and I've been known to do that. It's like, you know what, I'm bored. You ain't keeping up, your, yeah, bye. I've, I'm, I've been guilty of that. I, it, Aries, if y'all have done the same out there, let me know. That's, we just, I don't know, that's just part of our, one of our traits. Another um, sign of a red flag is, they accuse you of emotions they intentionally provoke. Uh, they expect you to read their mind now that one right there We're gonna talk about that one as well because communication y'all is key if you are if you run Meeting someone and y'all are starting to get to know each other and they have poor communication skills 
that's a red flag because how the hell can you going back up to what it said you can't read their damn minds so if they're not communicating properly with you obviously that's a problem but let's keep going uh they have a crippling thirst for attention they are obsessed with humiliating successful kind and cheerful people now that one right there one of the things that you know as men when we when we're dating we actually look towards our mother okay and what we we want women that kind of emulate our mother in a certain way that act like her good or bad that's what we tend to gravitate towards one of the things with my mother is she is one of the most graceful meaning full of grace and kind women to ever walk the planet okay and you can't tell me nothing different so one of the things i look for in the women that i had i interact with and the woman that i'm with now is are you kind i just want a nice person in my life okay just you know it's a lot of bs out here in this world so you want me personally i wanted to be with someone who was kind i didn't it wasn't i ain't looking at your bank account and none of that other bs because as a man i don't give a damn about what you i don't care about your title your job your this your money i just want you to be a nice person be kind simple as that all right so for me a huge red flag is be is is that they're obsessed with humiliating successful kind and cheerful people all right um another one is you fear that any fight could be your last and the last one on this particular list is they frequently comment about how you look so those are a couple things on this particular list that i came across um you know as far as when it comes to looking the red flags that in the when i was dating that instantly caught my eyes like yo that's a problem what the hell is this on my shirt i swear to god i shouldn't have ate that donut before i came on anyway hashtag dunkin donuts so those are a few things now let's touch on the communication thing that i mentioned earlier in talking to my um one of my homeboys uh larry from lmn art and design he's also the man that's you know running the boards for me making things go as smoothly as they can i wish he you know he <laughs> wish he'd warn me about the donut be like sir don't eat that donut <laughs> but anyway one of the things that that he that that he said that's a huge red flag for him is communication or lack thereof because for him dude is a he is a, a a very deep very thoughtful individual so for him he wants someone that he's able to communicate with and that they can communicate back to him so one of the things that he said is like yo sir if i have to pull conversations out of that person if i had to make them talk or if if they're not able to communicate issues or problems you know especially initially on an adult level but more importantly on on my level because i mean you know just because you say one thing doesn't necessarily mean that it is received a certain way so communication for him was definitely a red flag if they were not able to do so in fact um you know one of the things that he says that you know if you're doing most of the talking all right if 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 he's the one that's reaching out calling them whatever and they're not returning the calls or and y'all know this to be true i think when it comes to especially nowadays when it comes to texting you shoot them a text or you send them a dm in facebook or on instagram and then you gotta wait 30 minutes for them to respond or they hit you with that bubble you know what i'm talking about where it's like okay they looked at it they started to say something but then they're like ah the hell with it that kind of thing all right if you are doing most of the talking if you are reaching out to them if you're the one that's always like hey good morning what's going on how are you doing that kind of thing and they are not responding back that's two things one is a sign that they're either just not interested or it's a red flag that you're the one that's reaching out and you're doing all the communication now that doesn't necessarily mean that it's this huge thing like, oh shit this person ain't you know is is isn't give or worth a damn but what it actually means is that hey that's a red flag that this particular relationship path that you're trying to go down is not the one for you it's, it's really just that simple and also y'all not for me if I got to drag out a conversation with you, I'm running. Because honestly, going back to what I just said when it talks to Aries, yo, I get bored quick. So if you're not necessarily keeping my attention or if I have to fight to keep yours, deuces, I'm out. All right. Um, so, you know, that that's, that's one of the other things. Now, let's talk about going once again, dating in 2021. Catfish behavior. I've got a really, really close friend of mine, and one of the things that you know she she does is um, she dates via social media, not social media, excuse me, you know, different dating apps. And there's certain thing people that she runs across that are just definitely 
you know, if they give her any type of catfish vibes, she's out and rightfully so. Because if, if they cannot present themselves to be who they say they are via social via I keep saying social media, but via um, the dating app, I don't care if it's Bumble. I don't care if it's um, uh, y'all. What, what's a couple of them out there? Y'all let me know in the comment section. Uh, what's another one? Um, shit. Uh, meet uh, Tinder. Um, plenty of fish. I don't, you know. Depend on what you're into, grinder, you know, whatever the app is, if that person doesn't, is, are not able to say who they are, that's a red flag. You know what I'm saying? If, if they won't FaceTime you, if they won't, you know, talk to you at, you know, um, or send you a recent picture or something like that, that is a red flag that, Hey, this person is not honest with themselves. And if they're not honest with themselves, they damn sure are not going to be honest with you. That is a red flag that you need to get the hell on. Now, also a couple things as well, when it comes to, you know, dating apps, but just, just dating in general, you know, is if they only talk to you at a certain time, then that's a problem. OK, now, if they only talk to you when they're either driving home from work, but as soon as they pull in the driveway, it's like, All right, I, I call you back. Yo, that's the issue. A lot of times I've, I've talked to a whole bunch of people. and It's like, yo, um, I didn't know he was married or I didn't know she had a boyfriend. The hell you didn't. You just didn't see those signs, because if, if they're, you know, but to be clear, because some folks are kind of sneaky out there. It does happen. I get it. But nine times out of ten, if those signs are there, those warning flags are there. <laughs> Appreciate that. Michelle over on Facebook just said match.com. Wait a minute. Is that your profile? You got a match. Hey. <laughs> no, but yeah, match.com is definitely one of one of those social um, dating apps. But um, back to what I was saying. Um, one of the things that, that happens is, you know, you know, you can only talk to them at a certain time or if they do take you out, they only take you out to certain places and at certain times. They're, those are the little warning warning signs that, you know, hey, something is just not right. Now, um, the, the lady that I'm with now, all right, my soon to be betrothed, one of the things that, that really bugged her and a warning sign for her at the beginning of, of our relationship was she, you know, this not to put too much of her business out there, but, you know, being thought of as a secret, if you will. Right. Because of a past situation that she had dealt with in the past. So a red flag, a warning sign for her was like, yo, if you ain't putting me on social media, or if you're not doing this or whatever, and it is, you know, obvious that we're together, then you're hiding something. Now, me. I don't tell my business. I mean, it's, there's a line in a uh, Drake song that, that that resonated with me. It's like a, a wise man once said nothing at all. I don't tell you nothing. I, I have no desire to tell you what the hell's going on in my life. If I am putting something out on social media, you best believe it's because of these books behind you and the platform that, that we're on right now, which is me talking about my business and my entre entrepreneurial endeavors. But my personal life, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I, th that's just how I am. So that actually caused a, a, a little rift between us because, you know, for her, the red flag was just waving in the breeze. For me, it was just a little different. But that goes back to what I was saying about communication. If you're not able to talk through those issues, then what could be, you know, a red flag for one person, but it's not for another could actually cause a situation to just deteriorate. So those those are the things that, that you have got to worry about, you know, in, when it comes to dating initially in the first situation. Um, let's talk about a couple other things. Personal habits. Um, if they smoke, if they drink excessively, or if they smoke that 420 constantly, meaning that they are constantly high, if that's not something that aligns with you and your moral compass, if those red flags are there that, yo, this person is always smoking every damn dollar that they get goes to buying a pack of cigarettes. I mean, how much do cigarettes cost? Like six, seven, eight bucks, you know, whatever the case may be. If, if, if that's not something that you want to be around, that's the warning sign. Initially, that's the red flag that, Hey, this particular person is not necessarily the one that is who you need to be with it's just that simple there's a warning that's telling you right there that yo that's not the person simple as that right um now a few weeks ago we talked about distractions and 
when it comes to dating, a few of the initial distractions can prevent you from seeing some of those red flags that are that are glaring and staring you right in the face. You know, so, you know, if sex, for instance, if you if you have sex too soon. And by all means, I'm a firm believer that you shouldn't wait too long to have sex. However, if you doing it on the first date, damn near, it's like, shit, y'all ain't left the parking lot. And, you know, sooner or later, y'all, y'all, you know, doing the beast with two backs. What that, that can add a layer of distractions that could prevent you from actually seeing the red flags. Because if they're knocking it out the park, and if she's putting something on you so damn serious that you can't even see that something's wrong with that person, they kind of damn control it. However, you walking funny, so you smiling from ear to ear, but you don't see what is essentially something that could be like, yo, that red flag, there's a warning light right there, okay? But also, if you getting if, if you're going out on all these fancy dates and taking you know fantastical trips all across the planet and doing all kinds of things like that that's also that those things are also distractions that could prevent you from seeing the issues that are there when it comes to your relation that when it comes to the growing relationship that yo something's not right with this person this is not who i need to be with How, but when you're being showered with you know gifts etc cetera, etc cetera, the red flags are dinging. However, other things are distracting you from saying, you know what, this is not who I should be with. So with, you know, all of those different things, let me know. Uh, in fact, let's go and jump on in the comment section before I start taking a few calls. Remember, um, def it, once again, if you want to join the conversation, meaning talk to me one on one, just jump on over on Instagram at author Christopher Markland and you can join the conversation live there. Or if you want to just drop in a comment, hey, by all means, just go to uh, Facebook and drop your comment there. A couple people have put some comments in there. I didn't get a chance to read them, so we're going to get caught up right now. Uh, in fact, um, just had one comment here over in Facebook. And my man said, yo, getting to know yourself helps you to determine what is or isn't a red flag to you. That is a brilliant, brilliant, um, insightful comment because that is so true. Um, and one of the things I came across is that if you're looking at looking at your the person you're with or the person you're interested in through rose colored glasses, you're not going to be able to see the red flag because everything looks rosy. So you're it, that definitely is is such a insightful comment because it makes sense. You know, if if you don't know who you yourself and that person presents something to you that you really, really want, but it's not necessarily good for you, those red flags are not there until it's too damn late. You know what I'm saying? That right there is 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 something that makes sense. And I know I talk about this all the time. Therapy though. Yeah, I hate to say it, it's, it's real. Because what might not necessarily be a red flag, but it is a trigger, is not necessarily a problem. Because just because someone, for instance, let, let, what's an example? Okay, let's say for instance, um, we were talking about this last week or in last week's show, right? Um, uh, holding the door for you. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it back up. If you are a person and you think that if he, uh, and this is for my ladies out there, if he doesn't open the door for me, then that means that he ain't shit. He ain't going to take care of me. No, that's a you problem. If you don't work through that, that what could it actually just be miscommunication or whatever the case may be. But if you think that it is bigger than it really is, what may be a red flag to you is not necessarily that to them. So if going back once again to communication, and I will say this, the, the three things, and we're going to dig into this later on in a, a couple of Mark and Monday's um, conversations down the line, but to me, there are three things that you have got to have in a successful relationship. Sex, finances, communication. Those three things, all right? Sex doesn't necessarily mean sex. That doesn't necessarily mean that we smash. No, sex is all about the intimacy, Okay. Uh, finances is, is really to me about trust because if I go to work 40 hours a week, I wish this all that damn work, but let's say you, you know, 40 hours a week and I'm bringing home the paycheck to you, meaning, you know, the, the person I'm with and you go out there and blow that shit on, on just stupid stuff, you know, then I don't trust you to, to, I don't trust you at all because if I can't trust you with my money, I can't trust you on other stuff. All right. And I know money isn't everything, but damn it, it's a lot. 
But of course, you've got to have communication. Communication is the benchmark. We have got to be able to talk about the finances. We've got to be able to talk about the sex. We've got to be able to talk about the trust. We've got to be able to talk about the intimacy. We've got to be able to have those things. So if we're not able to have honest adult conversations, then yeah, we're going to have some really big problems. OK, so, you know, it's, it's like my man uh, said over here, you've got to be honest with yourself before you can call foul on someone else. You do. And a lot of times, a lot of people are not honest with themselves. They haven't worked through the issues and the problems that they have within themselves. So therefore, they damn sure can't, uh, you know, call foul or say, yo, that's a red flag or whatever, um, you know, on someone else. I will say this, though, if it is a problem, sometimes you need to back up and then go slow. OK, a lot of times people ignore red flags or, or try to mitigate them, say, you know what? It's not that bad. I mean, he only hit me with his left hand. <laughs> Let me not say that. But, you know, what a situation is is actually not healthy. A situation is not what you want it to be, but you stick around anyway. All right. And I'm not saying that you run at the first sign of a quote unquote problem. However, those red flags at the very beginning are are definitely warning signs of bigger things to come. So let's see a couple more comments that we have over here in Facebook. Yo, first of all, what you are not gonna do is talk about the fact that I'm Aries. You know what? People are, are so jealous of the fact that Aries is the best sign. What's the first sign in the Zodiac? Aries. Who's number one? Aries. Who's a hater? Y'all that are not Aries. I'm just saying, I'm gonna put that out there. All right. Um. right, let's see what else we got. Uh, a red flag. Michelle over here on Facebook said a red flag Red flag is people that constantly speak down to waiters, servers, people in the service industry. Yo. I went out um, on a date one time with this young lady. Banging body. Okay. Buttocks for days. Breasticles forever. Cute face. Great smile. Conversation was all right. But, you know, it was cool. The problem was we went to one of the best restaurants in Atlanta. It's a five star restaurant, um, gourmet food. And basically, when you walk in, you sit down and then you watch the guy cook, you know, your food behind the grill. Um, y'all may. I know for me, I don't need reservations, but for y'all, you may. But anyway, it's called Waffle House. So when we went into this fantastic restaurant and we're sitting down there, you know, talking, you know, waiting for the for the person to come in. The issue was the, the server came up real nice lady. All right. And one of the first things I always do is get that person's name. It's like, yo, what's happening? Blah, blah, blah. So we're sitting there talking and this woman worked the shit out of that damn waitress and it was just mean and nasty to her for no doggone reason and after that was the first and last date because I, going way back to what i said about my mother i want somebody nice the person who i'm with i want them to be nice it's not a lot you could be built like you know this pencil right here. well i ain't gonna say that you gotta have a little, couple curves but anyway you know that that sign to me if you cannot treat a server or someone that or you know um kind of like, like what michelle said if you can't someone is serving you as in, in any type of service capacity whether you know you're going customer service or whatever the case may be if you treat them like crap i don't need you in my life that y'all to me should be a huge red flag because if you treat someone that you think is below you like crap if I ever was to fall down or something was to happen to me, I know that it's going to happen. You know, you're going to treat me the same. It's it's just a, a, a huge glaring red flag. It was one time. That's all I needed. I'm out. I, I, I cannot deal with anybody who treats any type of service people like crap. And this is going back to me. Maybe, you know, a part of that is this. When I was in high school, I worked at McDonald's, all right? I don't know if anybody else out there, if y'all worked at McDonald's, put an M in the, in, in the comment section. I actually liked the job. In fact, two of the greatest people, my friends to this day, if y'all know the McDonald's in uh, downtown Decatur, man, me and my crew, we worked there. Shout out to Ty, shout out to Jack. Our, um, you know, those are two just phenomenal people. And that's how we met all working in that doggone restaurant. We've been friends ever since high school. Oh, you worked at McDonald's? Uh, Larry, that's what's up. <laughs> twelve on cheese on twelve. I'm telling you. So, so that right there, you know, we even though we were teenagers, we were kids working there. People treated us like shit, and we're the ones back there, you know, serving your food. And and it was at that point that I realized that yo, 
people some you know those are the kind of people that i that i, I just instantly knew like yeah you ain't gonna be nothing okay that that right there oof. don't treat your servers like crap y'all just just don't do it that's that's garbage um let's see once again i'm uh just for those of y'all that are joined in i see a couple of people jumped in on instagram and a couple over here on facebook if you want to actually have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me and we can talk about red flags let me know some of the red flags that you have had maybe something that you have ignored but it came back to bite me hey just uh ask to join the live and i will bring you on if you got something to add as well just jump on over there on facebook and drop your comment either way it's at author christopher markland um let's see another red flag that michelle put is signs of insecurity and jealousy as an aries i am one of the group of many of the best right us aries really don't get jealous people are jealous of us because as i said we are the best i'm sorry just want to make sure no lightning came through the ceiling but anyway so Jealousy and insecurity is not necessarily a trait that we have. However, we have had to deal with people who are jealous of us. It's a sad thing, but we understand. Jealousy and, <laughs> jealousy and insecurity is, 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 if you're jealous of someone, it's not necessarily because you're jealous of them, it's that you're insecure about yourself. So, when someone is like, ah, he's an Aries, damn, I wish he, he's such and such, I understand that that's just jealousy manifesting itself and i get it however to be <laughs> let me let me stop i mean it's real we are we are the best but one of the things that jealousy when, when someone is jealous of someone else or what they have or what they can do or whatever it's not about that person you know what it is is you you have a problem and it's just like just like my man uh just said right here you know um well actually he said something different i'm gonna talk about that in a minute if if you want to blame them because they're better they can run faster jump higher you know built better whatever it that's not on them that's you and that is definitely a red flag if, if you're going out with somebody and they're like oh man that dude is such and such man run if you're with with some to my fellas or you know well ladies it depends if you're with and they're like ah, oh, i can't believe she's this or look at what she's wearing nah it's a red flag man run what else we got uh you know what I'm going to kick a couple people out of this chat room because what y'all are not going to do is besmirch us Aries, especially not with Aries season about right around the corner. Sir. Let me take a sip of my drink because y'all are, mm. All this Aries hate is not going to be tolerated, sir. All right, let's see what we got over on in Instagram. Unable to take accountability in the smallest things. Pull you in. Okay, yo, I want you to join. That's a definitely want to talk to you about that. Unable to take accountability of the smallest things. That's a red flag. There's nothing wrong with being wrong. And it's actually, it's a funny thing you said that. That's actually one of the notes. And a lot of people, even when they're wrong, they still find a way to be right in their wrongness. That right there is, uh, is, is, whew, that's a red flag to me. I know I can be. A little bit of a know-it-all one thing my father taught me in um you know coming up and he was the second smartest person i've ever known the first was my grandfather right one thing my father always taught me was to know a little bit about everything not necessarily to to, to know you know be a know-it-all or whatever but to be educated and well-rounded and well-versed so even though i may not know everything i know enough to be like yeah what you just said is some bs that that ain't right However, I've called several people out on, on, on certain things, you know, throughout my, my life is when it comes to dating. And it's like, yeah, chick, I don't know what you're talking about, but that ain't right. However, the issue was they were still wrong. They were still right, even though they were wrong. So, yeah, that is a huge red flag for me. All right. I cannot stand when people do not say, you know what? You're right. Oh, my God. That is a huge red flag. It's like, yo just be wrong there's absolutely nothing wrong with that okay absolutely nothing wrong with that so um 
Oh, also, I meant to, uh, I forget to mention, mention this earlier. If you want to add a comment, but you want to be um, discreet, you want to be incognito with it, just send me a DM. You can either send it over to my Facebook um, or you can send it over to Instagram. Just send me a DM and I'll men mention your comment without mentioning your name. So that way, if you want to have a little bit of, um, you know, uh, anonymity, by all means, just let me know. Um, so let's see a couple other comments that we have over here. Yeah, unable to take accountability, definitely. Uh, what else we got in, in in Facebook? We got a lot of hating on Aries. Somebody else hating on Aries. That's a lot of red flags for y'all Aries haters, but that's something else. Um, let's see what we got. Hold on one second. All right, we got my man just about to join in on Instagram. Let me go live with this dude. See what he means. Just let me know. Um, so let's see a couple other comments that we have over here. Yeah, unable to take accountability. Definitely. Uh, what else we got in, in in Facebook? We got a lot of hating on Aries. Somebody else hating on Aries. That's a lot of red flags for y'all Aries haters, but that's something else. Um, let's see what we got. Hold on one second. All right, we got my man just about to join in on Instagram. Conversations about some red flag issues that he's had in the past as well. Ew. What up, man? What's going on, man? Oh, snap. I can't hear what you're saying. Hold on. You can't hear me? You. All right. I got you. What's up, brother? Chill, chill it, man. Um, Yo. Kind of wanted to... First of all, let me say this, bro. You can't, You need to put down that yak real quick because you're tripping on that. How about y'all being the number one sign? Number, that, that's, that's first and foremost. Hold on one second. Let me delete this thing. <laughs> what you ain't going to do, sir? No. That's intolerable. <laughs> You're not going to smirk the great name of an Aries. But continue with your ragged ass point. Go ahead, <laughs> sir. We're going to that accountability shit because I had this ex, right? And, and the fucked up thing, oh, excuse me, I don't know if I can curse on the show or whatever, but the, the, the messed up part about it was I caught that red flag after we was already in, in, in the old. You caught it after the fact? Yeah, I caught it after. Right, I caught it after. That. Yeah. So, and, and the ref, and, and the thing about that is this, so if I come to her and say, hey, you know, I feel as though, you know, you do this and you that and it's not cool and this and the third, it wasn't a discussion. It was more so, oh, well, if you do it, if I do it, then you mm -hmm. do it too. I'm like, mm -hmm. what? <laughs> that tip for that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it was that, it was, number one, it was a ref, and it was fucking very childish. Like, if I'm coming to you yeah. and I'm telling you, yo, you know, this is what I feel that, that, that you do, you know, and, and it's not cool, I don't like it. Instead of having a conversation, mm -hmm. it, the reply was, well, if I do it, you do you do it too. What? As if to say, because you do it, it mitigates the fact that I did it. Right. So therefore, I'm not as wrong because you did it too. Right. Yeah. But I got to ask you, uh, let, let, me, let me ask you a couple questions. Now, you said you realize it after. What was it that, that made you not realize it at the beginning? Because In other words, what were the distractions that, that blocked out that behavior or that pattern of behavior that you didn't see in the first place? It wasn't that I was blocking it out. It was more so in the dating stage or the getting to know each other stage or whatever. I wasn't really, you know, like, hey, you know, because I felt like it, it wasn't my place yet or it wasn't like... Uh, you know, because if I felt the ways about something, well, shit, you dating, you dating other people, I'm dating other people too. It was like a thing like, well, you know, it, it wasn't, I don't know, I felt like it wasn't a thing to bring up at the time, I guess, or, mm -hmm. you, you understand what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of the I, word, but. In other words, it sounds almost like you minimize, you, you knew, instinctively you knew something was, wasn't right. Maybe not necessarily wrong, but something wasn't right. I, yeah, I, I can but, go with that. You, you, you minimized it because you didn't want to. And it's, you know, and, and I, I kind of feel you because here's the thing. And y'all ladies, what you have are two dudes here. And I feel exactly where he's coming from. As men, especially modern men. But men, men as a whole, we're taught to basically, ah, you know, we can deal with anything. Right. However, just like y'all ladies, we have feelings. We're, you know, not maybe not sensitive. Maybe that's a bit much. However, we have feelings just like y'all. So if there's a situation that bothers us, a lot of times what we do is we swallow it. We, we push it down until it reaches the boiling point. And just like a volcano, when it pops, right, it, it pops. pops yeah. 
But here's the thing. We we know that, you know, yo, why are you talking about that? What, what's going on? Those little things, we, 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 we feel it, we internalize it. We know it's not right, but we're like, you know what? Hey, it's not that big a deal. And it sounds kind of sort of like that's that situation where it's like, yo, what you're saying is bothersome. What you're saying just saying, you know, it, it's not clicking with me. But you're like, all right, I, I can let it slide until you just can't deal with it no more. Yeah. And that's kind of what it sounds like. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah it, it, it hits on that. It hits, it hits on that as well. But it was more so like, you know how there's some certain things. Okay, I guess it's another topic too. But it goes on certain. It goes in. It's to, it's to the effect of there are certain things you bring you you kind of do and don't do while dating that you would do while in the actual relationship that you kind of have true. rights to. You know, you uh, uh, like. You know, there's something you can, that you can ask to do while in a relationship that you really can't while just dating and getting to know each other. You know, you honestly like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's like, like if we're just dating and we're seeing each other, other people, like you can't just come in and be like, well, stop seeing somebody else, stop seeing other people, be, until you know. And I can't do that because we're not in a committed relationship. We, I don't have that right to, to you know, to kind of say that. You know, so it was kind of one of those things. That, that, that I know how to end this thing. Here we go. I see feet, bruh. Man, if you don't get them toes off my lawn, yo. I'm sorry, I had to make a quick note of that because you might have just dropped some jewels on that one. Definitely, bro. Yo, I appreciate you, man. Now, uh, I've it up. Yeah, I know how to end this thing. Here we go. I see feet, bro. And he couldn't, and she couldn't hide anymore. That is so true. Um, Y'all, it's hard to, and that, that kind of ties back into what he just said. We don't have the right. And also, I know it's in, in the in the early stages, the initial stages of, yo, do y'all see them toes? Oh, God. Oh, I need a drink after that. Ugh. Anyway, you know, when it comes to the, the initial interaction when you're getting to know that person like he said you know we necessarily we don't feel like we have the right to say anything and by that means hey we just met you and you know you don't i know for me i don't want to be that that dude you know i don't want to be that that dude that's like yo you know you got an attitude problem or you know you this you know you that you're still getting to know the person however some of those red flags do rise to the point that you got to fall back now here's the thing for me with a red flag it doesn't necessarily mean that you leave the person all together alone and be like yo i'm out i won't talk to you no more but what that does to you is it it it, it gives you like a, a speed hump telling you hey slow down because just just like michelle said in you know in, in this comment that hey a person could only hide their representative but so long and and the the you know if if you say with them and you communicate with them long enough sooner or later that representative is going to fall back and the real person is going to step forward and then what what then happens then is that now you're like yo whew, i saved myself a huge headache because if i had pursued this faster or jumped in deeper then it would be harder for me to get out and then my feelings would really be hurt at that point all right so yeah you know representatives and all of that they do show up and and, and people do present who they think you want you want um who they think you want and that kind of goes back to what i was talking about when it comes to catfishing you know as when you have people it's and it's easy to do obviously when it comes to dating apps you know like michelle put match or you have tinder bumble or you know grinder or any other dating app that's out there plenty of fish christian mingle i mean whew, the list goes on you know people can can be who they who they think you want but sooner or later sooner or later especially when you ask the right questions especially when you you know interact especially and that's why i'm telling y'all i'm a huge proponent of there's only so much texting that we're going to do initially then we're going to have a conversation we're going to talk and you know we're going to have a video chat you know something like that so hey michelle wants to go live i'm going to add her on instagram hold on y'all especially when you you know interact it's especially and that's why i'm telling y'all i'm a huge proponent of there's only so much texting that we're going to do initially then we're going to have a conversation we're going to talk and you know we're going to have a video chat you know something like that so hey michelle wants to go live and i'm going to add her on instagram hold on y'all 
man, I'm still haunted by the memory of those feet. Oh, God. Ooh. Howdy. Hey. You're outside. I you like you just woke up. I did just wake up not too long ago. Had a glorious yeah. nap. You're a vampire. Just like these naps right here. Um, <laughs> but no, like one thing that, that you know, Jess had mentioned that kind of struck a, a chord as we're talking about red flags. Our okay. Red flags more so what the individual is presenting or more so what you are overlooking because people can only hide their representatives for so long mm -hmm. however they they show signs of who they are and it's only a red flag when you overlook it for whatever reason they they showed you who they who they were um what's that phrase uh for my angela when people show you who they are believed in the first time mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, as we're talking yep. about red flags, you know, the, the, the denominator here isn't that person. They're just being them. It's you. And if you know that there's something that bothers you, um, if there's certain individual characteristics that don't work for you and right. you go into another relationship and that person is exhibiting those same characteristics and you choose to overlook it, at that point, the issue is you. Now, is, is is there a thing like maybe, because um, that's a great point, by the way, but is there a thing maybe, you know, you hear people say like, you've got a type. Now, is, is that mean like you're attracting the same people? I, I don't know. I won't speak to that per se, because, you know, bad character comes in many different forms. So I, I'm not going to okay. say, yeah, you're native to that. Um, smarter minds can have that conversation. All I know is, as you get older and you start to look at your relationships, you got to start to think to yourself, okay, what am I doing wrong? And what do I need to not carry forth, you know, into the next relationship? Like, for example, with my past relationship, I was with a guy for damn near like five plus years and it was a terrible fucking relationship, but it was terrible from the very beginning. And... Give me an example of, of a red flag in that particular situation without, you know, it, it, insecurity and jealousy. Like when we decided to, you know, commit to, to each other, you know, you have that conversation at the beginning about, you know, uh, what this relationship looks like, titles, blah, blah, blah. And in some form of another, when you start to get serious, you know, a conversation happens. We have that conversation. And, you know, we talked a lot about, you know, certain in insecurities and certain boundaries that I had and parameters that I, would not allow a man to cross. And swear to God, maybe about four or five days later, he crossed that boundary in a big way, in a huge habitual. way. Yeah, he was, I mean, he was a habitual line stepper. Like, <laughs> but after a while, I, I mean, I, I noticed that red flag literally within the first week of our relationship. And we talked about, you know, that being a problem for me. And it didn't matter. I ain't got Korean all in my teeth anyways. I, yeah, I'm sorry. I felt it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, like, you know, so looking back on that relationship, al although I would love to, to blame him for a lot of stuff and I'd lo love to point the finger at him and, and highlight all, all how he did be wrong. And he did, you know, make no mistake about it. He did. But he was showing me who he was from literally the first week, from day one. He showed me who he was. I saw that red flag. I remember that red flag. It was a huge burning, waving, do not pass, go, leave this ninja right where he is, red flag. And I'll never forget, he offered me some Burger King. And I was like, ah, I'll overlook it. <laughs> yes, it was Burger King. <laughs> But uh, we got to dig into that. But, First of all, was it a Whopper, Whopper Jr.? What it, was it? It is a Whopper Jr. Whopper Jr. with cheese, no pickles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The way to my heart is food. And like, I see I mean, it's, it, it, it sounds silly, but we had this huge argument about it. And I'm looking at him like, man, like, I need to leave this alone. And he was like, man, you ate? And I was like, well, I'll, I'll let me table this while I go get a sandwich hey, you know what a, a lot of people say that um <laughs> the way to a woman's heart is through her stomach that is true like, like that's what happened yeah hmm I mean, so but but um, uh, one last question quick um if you had acted on for two questions 
what would have been the best way to act on the red flags that you saw? Because from what you said, you guys had a conversation, talked about it. And then if you had been like, you know what, this these red flags are too much, then what what, what, what I've done? Been, Honestly, yeah. what I should have done was leave it alone right then and there because it was so soon and so early in the relationship and that's again essentially what red flags are you see the red flag in the beginning they're they're hints of who they are once you actually meet their representative that ain't a red flag that's who they are like you know the person now so the red when flag, you get representative. right so in the mm -hmm. beginning i saw those hints of who he was and then eventually he became that person you know but i mm -hmm. saw the hints in the very beginning and it was early enough for me to be like let me walk away from this this ain't this ain't for me but for you know various reasons you know i'll be real with you boredom was one uh it was you know a convenient relationship too like just just various things you you tend to overlook those those hints of narcissism those hints of you know just character flaws or what's not and now you're in a full-fledged relationship with someone that's okay. that, that yeah they're a full-fledged narcissist and it's it's five years in and you're miserable so at that point it's like can you blame that person because you saw it you noticed it so the, the red flag isn't necessarily for the other person because that's who they are red flag is for you and part of just growing in this whole dating world in this whole relationship world is not just recognizing the red flag but taking action behind it and i think that's what a lot of people don't do they don't take that action behind it and now you turn around and you're living with the monster and you can't blame that monster for being a monster blame yourself for seeing it was a monster and and deciding eh, you know i'm gonna keep rocking with this gotcha now um just as that's a great question do you consider a habitual line step or someone who steps on the line with the same thing or some some different way every time in other words is do they keep doing the same thing or is it maybe not the same thing but they're doing something else that's either that's problematic i would say the same thing i mean as as humans as people we're gonna make mistakes you know i'm gonna make a mistake tomorrow i'm gonna say the wrong thing to, to somebody tomorrow I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the wrong thing at some point tomorrow if not tomorrow the day after so we're going to fuck up as humans and going back to again you know what Justin brought up taking accountability I can be honest and say that that's something that I still struggle with today because the New Yorker and the Leo in me and the Caribbean in me, I'm not wrong, you're wrong. And let me show you how you're wrong. And it sometimes you got to take a step back and be like, okay, this person is expressing to me what I did made them feel a certain way. And even though mm -hmm. my intentions weren't ugly, I still made a mistake and I still hurt this person. So part of growing is learning to take accountability and saying, you know what, I fucked up. Um, let me try to make this right some kind of how. So no, I don't think that if you're making various mistakes that makes you a bad person or that makes you a habitual line stepper, I think we're all gonna make mistakes. However, if I keep making the same mistake and you've, you've already told me to, to not do that, and right, if they're not, if they're not showing any type of growth in trying to correct I, those. Well, I got they don't respect you actually, because if you're telling me stop poking you, stop poking you, stop poking you, and I keep on poking you, that means I don't give a damn about you. Man, you brought us some really, really good points. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, bye. Mm. Okay. Oh, me either. What? The I think I need a bigger thumb. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> so you know what? Um, I want to ask this question to y'all. I know for us, especially, you know, in our 30s, 40s, dating is, is serious. Is it a red flag for you? And just let me know in the comments section. Leave me with a one if it is, a two, a three if it's not. One if you agree, three if you don't. OK, let's say f is is if you're dating someone and they have not exhibited or demonstrated that they want to get married. OK, meaning we've been dating for a year because something that that Michelle just just talked about was they've been dating for five years. And I know for me, I you know, y'all have been married multiple times about to do it again. Thank God I'm looking forward to it. But if one of those things is and no, ain't nobody nasty, chillish. I saw that chill. Come on. now. Anyway, if if you are 
um, with someone that hasn't demonstrated or spoken to uh, about marriage, would that be a red flag for you? Okay. You know, would that be a red flag for you that, okay, this person, yeah, we're dating it. We're kicking it. If you know, things are going good. All right. We have great conversation. You know, we go out and we have fun together. However, we've been moving along, but they haven't said anything about marriage and you have, you're like, Hey, you know what? What do you think about us getting married? What do you think about us doing this? What do you think about that? And th they haven't demonstrated. Is that a red flag to you? I just want to know. All right. If it is, like, like, hit me with a one. Or if you want to join a conversation, if you've been in that situation, you know what I always say. You can jump over on Instagram and we can actually talk face to face because I want to hear what you guys got to say. Um, and I definitely want to hear about some of the red flags um, that you guys have, have encountered. Or on the flip side, if someone has told you that, hey, how you're behaving, that's a red flag to me, that's a trigger, and I'm going to fall back. Let me know if you've been in that situation where someone has told you that how you are, meaning your personality, your habits, all of those things. We got one uh, person said, yeah, if you're not um, moving towards getting married, that's a huge red flag. But someone has told you that, hey, you know what, you are the problem here, then let me know because I am really curious about that. Um, reading a couple notes over here that a few people have dropped into my comment section, not the comment section, excuse me. They sent me a DM about it. Uh, hold on a second, y'all. Let me see. Hmm. Okay. So... All right. Someone is just basically what she just told me was, you know, she was um, she didn't want to give her name, give too much information or give any of her information. But what she said was she met a guy on um, uh, Tinder. No, excuse me. Match.com. And one of the issues that, that she had was that she kept asking him, hey, send me a picture. Because what she was saying was that, you know, his Facebook page looked like it was just started damn near two hours before he posted his profile. So that was a red flag for her. And then every time she kept reaching out to him, like, yo, you know, the conversations were, were seen to be pretty good. But every time she tried to talk to him, it was a problem. If, as far as video chatting with him and also, you know, showing basically him providing a, uh, a recent up to date picture. Now, Y'all, that TV show Catfish has been around for, it, you know, it was on for what, damn near 13 seasons? There's a reason for that, because people just don't quit, okay? People will always, especially online, will always fake who they are. So, those red flags for her, she was like, yeah, I'm good. She said that she just let it be, because why would you want to get into, get in deeper with someone who honestly doesn't show who they are? And that's why she was like, yeah, no thanks, I'm out. I was just reading the message. So, yeah, that's a catfish. You're right. <laughs> that's a catfish. Y'all, if you meet somebody via social, via a dating app, okay, and you're like, yo, that's a great profile, and, you know, you, you communicate with them, and, you know, you have a, you know, you text back and forth. It's like, yo, okay, can, do you want to talk, or do you want to video chat, whatever, and they're like, nah, man, it's a catfish. Ah, you don't call the catfish. Better cut the line, let them go. I had way back in the day, y'all remember them AOL chat rooms way back when we had dial up internet, right? So I, uh, in messaging, I, you know, we're in one of those groups, or one of those chat rooms, whatever the case, and we're just typing in. There's one person I was like, yo, I like your vibe. We were just grooving, you know, great sense of humor. We were just talking. So you know how you just send a, like a private message? For those of y'all not familiar with AOL back in the day, it was kind of serious, all right? That was the beginning of the internets. The interwebs birthplace was AOL, right? Black, uh, black voices. So anyway, we were typing. If y'all remember black voices, let me know. Because I... <laughs> Oh, the fun I had with them black voices, chat rooms. Oh, my God. Anyway, she 
was like, she asked her, yo, send me a picture. She sent this picture. I'm like, yo, man. Okay, what's your number? Where do you live? Oh, she lived right around the corner from me. So we're on the phone talking. I'm like, why does your voice not sound like your picture? And y'all know exactly what I mean when I say that. Her voice did not sound like her picture. Her voice sounded um heavy. Okay, yeah, if y'all get one, it sounded very full. So anyway, I was like, well, since you, you don't, st we don't stay too far from each other, how about we meet up? Needless to say, the person that I met was not the person in that picture. So they've been, that, this had to be, damn, I just got out of the army, so that had to be maybe right at 98, give or take, 98, 99. So people been catfishing since forever. So if you've been in a catfish situation, I want to hear about that too. <laughs> yeah, AOL was my introduction as well. Oh my goodness. Y'all, we're going to wrap this one up tonight. I definitely appreciate this conversation, man. Yo, thank you everyone for joining um, as we do every stinking Monday. Every Monday we have this conversation, Mike Marklin Monday's conversations. And we talk about different dating topics or even some current events it all depends on what's going on but we every monday we're going to have these conversations y'all i thank everyone for joining in if you're watching this um replay on youtube please make sure you like share and subscribe to the channel and also drop a comment in below because i'm all, I, I monitor all of my social media and i'm all about talking to you guys so definitely definitely make sure that if you have something to add join in and make sure you join the conversation we're always on facebook and if you want to join and talk to me one-on-one -on -one, just jump on instagram all both of those social media platforms are at author christopher markland i definitely appreciate y'all jumping in once again y'all stay determined y'all have a good one thank you we're out <laughs>